Hello everybody. Uh, I want to record some information about the assignment 2 and the final project. Uh, the idea is that uh, you will form groups and you will work on the final project to, in your group. Um, the project is split into two parts. So the first part is a technical part and this is what assignment 2 is about. So assignment 2 is a tech demo for exploring and experiencing some of the technologies that we have covered in the course. So if you go to assignment 2, we're still finalizing the, the text, but basically what it says is that you should use, um, you should have a settings screen, you should have some form of networking, you should use a local dat database, probably with room. Uh, you should try to use Recycler view for some of the UI. Uh, you should try to do something with sensors, uh, maybe temperature sensor, maybe you know uh, proximity sensor, what, what, what have you. Um, you can use maps or camera or haptics or any combination of those. Uh, and then you need to provide some technical details. Uh, some technical um, artifacts which make your code and your project more professional. So JUnit tests and espresso tests. Uh, they should be, of course, no linter errors and you should put kind of a professionalism on the technology side. So the whole idea here is that what you do doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that you use the technologies which are listed here and then you provide some technical um, evaluation in the form of tests and you make sure that the professionalism of your development is um, well done. Um, the idea, what it is, what's the functionality, whether it is usable app or not, doesn't matter. But then in the second half of the project, you have to remove some of the things like, for example, if it makes no sense for your app to have sensors, then you remove that part. Uh, and what's left is some core idea that is actually usable and polished for the user. So the first part of the project is to play with the tech and you have to use the tech that we told you to use, even if it makes no sense in your app. And then in the second half, you strip everything that is not needed. You focus on polishing the app and making it user friendly and making it usable for the user. So the more polished, the more publishable the app becomes, the better it is for the project in the second part. And you will be marked for the first part, for the tech uh, demo part. And then you will be marked for the polish and for the idea and for the usability and for the user centricity of the app in the second half. So in the first part, the user is not important. The UI is not important. It can be, you know, um, just a tech demo. But for the second part, what we want is for you to change your heads from a developer of a tech demo to a developer of a product that is user centric. Um, so the idea is that from now on, you have a little bit over a month to develop a group project and the first milestone is to play with the technology. The second milestone is to polish the app, make it usable, make it user friendly and make it nice looking and make the features polished. So in the first part, there might be some things that are sort of, you know, on a single fragment or single activity, you may have multiple things like uh, some sort of a sensor output about the temperature and some lookup into the, um, you know, weather service, which shows also the temperature, whatever, like it can make no sense, but you're kind of demonstrating the use of APIs, demonstrating the use of networking and you're showing the tech demo. And that's fine for the first part, which is assignment two. The second part, the polish will be called assignment three, but that effectively is finishing of the project, right? So what you should do is you should form a group which is for both parts and you should work on both parts now over the period of time with the two deadlines 
for the two milestones uh, and the deadlines are um, posted on the wiki. So uh, really, I just put the deadlines here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I didn't save it. All right, so I am uh, gonna edit the page now. I might have, uh, okay, so let me try that. I might have not saved the, yes, so the deadlines are here. I just didn't save them. So let me just save, let me just see how it looks. Yeah, um, okay. So it's broken. Let me fix this. So uh, assignment two is this. The deadline is Monday, twentieth of April, and assignment one just for the sake of consistency assignment slash right so project yes so okay let me check this so this the first stage will finish on monday 20th of april and then the final project delivery will be uh, just after the weekend uh, at the end of the school semester. So Sunday, 3rd of May will be the deadline for the project submissions. Normally, what we have at the end of the course is we have presentations, but because of the circumstances, that makes no sense. So what we will do is uh, it, it will be replaced, be replaced with video demo and I will tell you about that for assignment three um, later. So we will specify what are the uh, requirements for the assignment three uh, and as I'm saying it will be user focused evaluation. So we will not check your JUnit test or Espresso tests. We will test how the app is usable, what is the core idea, and you know how much usable the, the app actually is, how much publishable it is on the Google Play. Um, so that's what will be kind of the stress for assignment three. Uh, the stress on assignment two is in the assignment text already. So I will add the extra assignment three and then the deadline for assignment three is the 3rd of May. You can carry the same group and you can carry the same project. And that's the intention that you now spend time on working on the project, which basically has two milestones. Um, so let me save this this time. All right. So this is the, uh, the core idea. Why do we split the project into two parts, two milestones? Uh, there are two reasons for that. So the first reason is that we want the uh, the tech development to be sort of finished and then you spending some time polishing the features and making the app feels good and look good. Uh, so paying attention to the icons, pay attention to the UI, paying attention to the layout, to the rotation of the screen and so on and so forth. So making kind of a, some small adjustments and some um, maintenance tasks which make the app kind of to be better. Uh, normally we spend a lot of time developing the features and then it's kind of a half baked product. If you spend this extra week or 10 days on kind of polishing the app, it will be much better. So we that's why we have the two, two milestones, the tech, tech milestone and the user focus milestone. Um, so it is possible that you will be working in a group which is not functioning well, that you will feel uh, you really need to do something else for stage three, for the assignment three. And that also allows you to do that. So after assignment two, you may opt out of the group that you're currently in and you may do something else or you may join a different group. So it is possible. It should be rather an exception, 
but it gives some students kind of a way out. So we are not committing you for the whole 30 days for the one giant assignment, which is a project. You have this kind of a possibility of working on assignment two with one group. And then if some, you know, you know, things happen. So the group may kind of uh, be dysfunctional. It is not often the case, but sometimes it is the case. So in exceptional situation, you will have a way out. Um, right. So what you should do now is you should look for some group members and you should register your project in the project groups. So the project groups is a wiki page which provides a template of what we're looking for. And what we're looking for is a couple of um, items. Uh, so the projects should have consecutive numbers. So we start with project one, which is this one. And then each project needs to be approved by me or Christopher. Um, and then you can carry on the projects once they are approved. Um, so what you do is you basically edit this page. Um, you copy that section. So you copy this, uh, paste it in, you know, instead of this, uh, and then provide the name of the project here and here, uh, specify the, the next consecutive number. So in this case, it will be number two. Uh, if you have external stakeholders, you list them here. So if you're working for uh, somebody who wants a particular mobile app, um, you kind of list them here. You say how many members your group will have and then leave this empty. I will read the idea and then I will talk with you and then I will approve the, the project um, or Christopher will approve the project. So here you briefly specify what the idea is, what you will do. Will it be... Uh, I don't know, music app to work with Spotify. Will it be, uh, we had some um, video <laughs> apps last year. They were quite popular to use the some of the uh, movie databases or video streaming services, APIs to interact and make some, for example, um, apps for storing the current status of you watching some series or whatever, like whatever the idea is. I mean, you are gonna be in assignment three one of the criteria for marking you will be the um, the idea that you came up with, right? Um, for assignment two, notably, the idea is not needed yet, right? So you may effectively register a group and have just a, like a one-liner for the idea um, and start working on assignment two because in assignment two, you're just working out with tech and it doesn't matter what the idea is. The idea is really important for the assignment three for the project. Uh, so here you can like postpone the decision a little bit until you really start working on the features for your app. And then you really need to have this specified and approved by the uh, by one of the lecturers. Um, I hope it makes sense. So once you once you do that, then you kind of ready to start working on assignment two. And what we will do is we will um, post a form where you register your um, group number with the members that are part of your group. Um, and then this, this will be used for submission of assignment two and subsequently submission for assignment three. So to wrap it up um, and uh, reiterate what we expect from you, uh, we expect from you to work on a project which will be from now until the end of the semester. The fir first part of the project is playing with the tech and this is explained in assignment two. Um, the groups which are formed need to be registered under project groups and then you specify how many members the group has, what is the group number and what is the group name and then briefly what the idea is. Is it a game? Is it a usability app? Is it a, uh, some utility? What have you? Is it a camera app? And then once you specify that, you will be able to register the group in the form that we will post here. Um, and then assign, like um, we, we basically need to map who is in particular group. So then what you do is you pick from the drop down the group number, 
uh, the name and then you put your, your email address and then we will know who is the group members for the groups. And then you carry on until assignment two. If some bad things happen and you want to opt out from the group and don't carry assignment three with the same group, you will tell us and we will kind of uh, help you to reallocate. Um, but normally what should happen is you will be working on the project from now on until the end. It will have two milestones and the deadline for the first milestone is Monday 20th of April and then the second milestone is Sunday 3rd of May. Um, and then for the second milestone, you will be asked to produce a small video demoing the app um, because we will not have the project project presentations this semester because of the lockdown and because it is logistically a re little difficult to present a mobile app using Zoom or something else. Therefore, what we will do is we will instead make you make a short video and upload it or make a link in your submission and then this will be used for um, uh, marking and assessing your, your projects. Um, I think it makes sense to make the videos accessible to the rest of the class. So, uh, you know, if you don't want to be on the video, don't show your face on the video, but like show the features of the app and, and so on. So uh, bear in mind that um, like the, the video should be shared with the rest of the class because it kind of makes sense for others to see what everybody did. Um, so, um, yeah, try, try to make it such that it can be shared in, in the class. If you want, I encourage you to post those videos on like public fora, like YouTube or whatever, um, because it kind of becomes part of your portfolio. You can show it to your future employers and so on, or what have you developed. So it is like you, you can make this course and you can make this project part of the kind of a portfolio or part of the things that you can demonstrate and show as a value for applying for jobs or things like this. And we encourage you to do that. Uh, so make it nice and make it kind of uh, presentable and we encourage you to make it public. But of course, we don't force you. So we will share it with other students, but it's not public. It's like just internal to the class. But if you want to make it public, uh, please um, make so. Uh, we may ask you if you want to make the video public and if you do, we may kind of make it public on our channel ourselves as well uh, to publicize your work if, if you want to. Uh, but it's up to you, it's um, optional. So I hope um, that explains the rationale for the project and for the two milestones. And I, I hope it will uh, work out well for the final assessment of the of the course. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, uh, please ask me on Discord or post uh, uh, issue on the on the issue tracker. Thank you.